fun? Yeah. yeah. Math is my favorite subject. The numbers man who takes the agony out of arithmetic. Well, here are some numbers for you. 1,000 people reached over seven months by a man with 20 years experience of doing it. That all adds up to John Grant McLaughlin. He loves numbers. Here's Catherine Harrop once again tonight with the story about how he's spreading that love. For many people, recreational mathematics is an oxymoron, but uh, I don't think so. I, d I just think that math hasn't been presented as fun for most people, and so just to be doing mathematical puzzles and games and the like. Is math fun? Yeah. yeah. Math is my favorite subject. John Grant McLaughlin offered no bribes to get that answer, just games. John Grant McLaughlin is an education professor who loves numbers, and he is spreading the joy, a joy he says that has been sucked out of mathematics by worksheets, repetition, and tiring textbooks. He points out that mathematicians play with mathematics. One of these puzzles, just I'll grab one here for a moment. This, this particular puzzle is very hard to make these seven pieces into a cube. And when anyone figures this out, there's a sense of accomplishment that isn't there when you take on something that's very easy. You two get it? No, I take it. Yes. I'm smart. It, it's like a workout for the brain on like when we were kids, when you're just learning this one. But then he gives us this where it's in chunks and you have to work through how you're going to use it in chunks. Look at this. This would work. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We did it. Good one. Yay. Six, two and four is six, yeah. Division, addition, subtraction, and multiplication are hard at work in this game, spatial perception in others. <laughs> including clever ways of remembering. It just helps you with your multiplication path. Um, so if you use your hands, you whatever number you're times by nine, you put that down. So if I did nine times eight, put your eighth finger down, and then you end up with seven and two, so it equals 72. John Grant McLaughlin visits schools from time to time, runs workshops with parents and teachers, and occasionally shows up at a public library with bagfuls of math games. He sees it as a combination of university outreach and community connection. But the card from the students says it all. Thanks for making math fun. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Fredericton. Well, New Brunswick author David Adams Richards has a new book. I will have that story coming up. Plus, we'll let Peter Code here next with your full weather forecast.